Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. In this video we're going to be looking at a new Windows 10 build. This is the Windows 10 Creators Update build 14977 for mobile. It was only released for mobile. There's a, a, a blocking bug Microsoft say on the PC uh, version that's preventing some apps from working so they've not released that and there won't be one this week. But here's the mobile build. There's not a huge amount of changes in this actually. One of the things it picks up that um, the PC build had last week is it can now read EPUB book formats in Microsoft Edge. So let me show you that and I'll get a book. So here we are with a book and I can flick through the pages as you can see. I can read the book and I can toggle a bookmark and um, you can search through here. There's a search option there. Um, I think that does it using Cortana. I don't, can't seem to. Oh, there we go. We can type in just a UI issue. It brought the search box up there. So we can do a search and there's the bookmark list. It's a bit laggy on there, but there's a bookmark list and I think there's a contents view as well. And um, see, that was going to appear there. It is quite a bit of a lag on there. Um, Interesting that it's not. Oh, there we go. So it's not working brilliantly, but you can see how it should work. It's surprising that this is a 950 XL as well, so it's certainly not a processor issue. You tap the button, it doesn't do anything, um, and then it kind of disappears again. So that's the content. There, obviously, a lot of work to be done with this app, but well, it's not even an app, it's part of Microsoft Edge. So that's the main change in there is this EPUB reader on there. Oh, and there it is, the uh, formatting option, so you can click, change the text size, you can change the colours, and uh, you can choose the font type as well. Um, so, uh, there's the, so the visual options you've got in there. So, what else has changed? Well, nothing major really. There's um, They've changed some of the technology used for rendering UWP apps, so we may see some changes in the apps, I haven't seen anything so far. Um, they arms uh, uh, alarm set by a third party alarm will now break through Cortana's quiet hours. So uh, if you if a developer has created an app that uh, alert with alar alarms on it and you're in quiet hours, it'll still come through, which is something developers have been asking as well. They've removed the top level option for notification settings to disable alarm locks. Um, and, Alarm reliability is a top priority as for Microsoft say, so they've prevented apps from breaking that sort of setting, that top level setting. Um, they fixed some settings, uh, they fixed some OAuth authentication with mail, they fixed an issue closing tabs in Microsoft Edge, and they fixed some rendering issues on Continuum. In terms of known issues, there's only a couple on this. Um, Microsoft say avoid uh, installing new language packs, keyboard speech packs on your phone because uh, they might not finish downloading and you've got to use a recovery tool. So I'd wait till Microsoft to make an official sort of announcement on the next build or future build saying this has been fixed before you check it. Windows 10 phones with 8 gig of storage like the Lumia 550 may receive an error. Um, and there's a forum post for that, how to fix that. And... Um, System related notification toasts like Bluetooth, USB audio and autoplay may not work. So those are the main issues and those are the, the changes. Like I said, the main one, Microsoft Edge now read EPUB books and that's it really. This is uh, 14977, last PC bill was 14971, so not a huge amount in this but it's a couple of weeks since we've had a, uh, a farm build. Hopefully we'll get some more interesting features, uh, some of the creator stuff coming soon but uh, that's it for now, thanks for watching.